Secrets You Missed in Offset featuring Cardi B clout music video. But not, not looking to the side and seeing family? Not different for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's different about it? With their popularity growing by the day, it's no surprise Offset and Cardi B released a new track titled Clout. The song focuses on their rise to success and what people will do to reach the level of fame they both have. It also dives into the couple's relationship and what they've gone through throughout recent times. Though that may be a simple storyline, there's plenty of hidden details throughout the video, and we're here to discuss just that. Welcome to Lime Report, and today we're going to break down all the secrets in the Clout official music video and everything you need to know about Offset and Cardi B. Make sure to stay until the end to hear the craziest secrets of the famous couple. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword clout to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Meaning behind the video. Upon a first viewing of the video, it's not hard to tell it's another track about making money and the couple just flaunting their success. But with a closer look, some viewers noticed the excessive use of black and yellow. This is a call back to Cardi B's breakout song, Bodak Yellow. The couple performed the song in unison with Cardi B all over her husband throughout the entire song. While most couples perform provocative dances with their significant other, Offset and Cardi B took it to an all-new level. Their excessive displays of affection seemed deliberately over the top, almost as if the couple was throwing their relationship in everyone's face. This could be due to the recent struggles the couple went through. Due to multiple scandals, Cardi and Offset seemed like they were over. Following the Jingle Ball Festival in California, where the two seemed to be all right, Cardi B then went to Instagram. There, the female rapper reported she and Offset were officially done, claiming it was nobody's fault. That was until rumors that Offset was requesting a threesome with female rapper Cuban Doll and her friend. Screenshots of the conversation had surfaced, which dated back to Cardi B's first month of pregnancy. Once they dropped, the couple came to a temporary end. Crazy enough, this wasn't even the first time the couple had relationship issues, as Offset seems to have a loyalty problem. A few years back, Cardi B actually assaulted two bartenders who were sisters, Batty G and Jade, after thinking Offset had had an affair with Jade. This was neither denied nor confirmed, but after multiple instances of the same problem, smart money would be on the ladder. One other detail in the video that has raised speculation is the bathtub of lemons that Cardi is found bathing in. Initially, fans thought this might have been a reference to Beyonce in her famous track titled Lemonade. It would make sense as Beyonce's song focused on Jay-Z's disloyalty to their relationship, something Cardi B is no stranger to. However, after seeing the excessive displays of affection the couple showed throughout the video, that wouldn't make much sense. Instead, Cardi fans have theorized that lemons were there simply because of their color. Matching the theme of the rest of the video and referring back to Cardi B's best hit Bodak Yellow, the song that initially put her on the map. This would make more sense as the two couples don't seem to have any connection with one another. The only link that matches them are the cheating scandals. However, when it comes to problems, there's no doubt that Offset and Cardi have them beat. Throughout their short careers, they've already created a reputation of a wild couple. Though the duo may seem fine now, while at their peaks, there's no doubt they have their lows, just like any other couple. There's nothing wrong with having problems, but when you're in the peak of your career like these two are, time is the most important factor. Time they can't be serving behind bars for aggravated assaults. Hopefully these upcoming events will give the rap couple an idea on how to better their relationship and avoid future encounters with the law. With all their drama building up, it's hard to keep track of it all. As the limelight continues to shine on them and their new songs continue to drop, their private life seems to be the least of their concerns. However, it seems that their past is starting to catch up with them. Which leads us to our next topic. What started the problems with the famous rap couple? Their original relationship drama. In the midst of their relationship, Offset and Cardi B ran into some issues which caused a rift between the couple. Already being off and on with each other was one problem, but their troubles were going to get a lot worse come summer of 2018. On August 29th, Cardi B got involved in an argument with a waitress which ultimately turned into a bar fight. Things got so bad that it was reported multiple chairs and bottles were thrown throughout the nightclub. To make matters worse, when the police arrived, Cardi B and her entourage were nowhere to be found, most likely trying to avoid charges, which doesn't really help with her not guilty case. Initially, she believed that to be the end of her troubles. However, when you're that famous, you don't need to be at the scene of the crime to get recognized. Almost all the reports stated Cardi B was at the scene during the time of the assault. However, once confirmed, it seemed nothing was going to be done. That was until a couple of months later when Cardi B was summoned to the police station for questioning. Following the meeting, she was sentenced with a felony assault and a misdemeanor reckless endangerment charge. This led to her hearing on April 19th, to which she was offered a plea deal that consisted of no jail time. Unfortunately, Cardi B very unwisely denied the plea for one reason or another, perhaps truly believing she could beat the case, or maybe she didn't want the record on her file. Either way, whatever her reasoning may be, due to that decision, she is now risking jail time. Now, her next court appearance is May 31st. Following this, her trial will continue on, leaving her fate in the hands of a jury, and if sentenced guilty, Cardi B can be looking at up to one year in jail. 
Considering this wouldn't be the first time a rapper was facing charges during the height of their success, it would appear Cardi is no safer than anyone else. Though time will tell, Cardi may learn to find that not taking the deal may have been a mistake, one that could cost her an entire year of her life during the most pivotal point of her career. With this now on the line, it really begs the question why Cardi would risk it at all by not taking the plea. Why do you think she decided not to take it? Do you believe Cardi B is actually innocent of this crime? Make sure to stay until the end to hear why, and leave a comment in the section below to tell us what you think her reasons were. Other Drama Besides their marital issues, the couple both currently have cases at the moment. Even with all their wealth and fame, the rapping duo can't seem to stay on the right side of the law. About a year ago, Offset was pulled over in Atlanta and was charged with possession of a substance and possession of a firearm. The timing couldn't have been worse, as this was just days after the birth of their daughter, Culture. To make matters worse, the rapper was still on parole for a crime he committed years prior to that. If convicted, Offset could be looking at nearly 12 years behind bars. This wouldn't be the first time the rapper was found guilty, as he previously served an eight-month sentence a year ago. With the evidence not stacking up in his favor, there's a more than likely chance we can expect to see the Migos rapper return to prison. Hopefully, not for the entire sentence, but the chance of him reducing over a decade in jail is highly unlikely. On top of all that, Cardi B is also looking at charges. Due to the previously mentioned assault Cardi made against a bartender, she is potentially facing one year in jail. The female rapper is also no stranger to the law, having a few prior convictions herself. However, due to the insignificance of her case along with her income, Cardi B has a better chance to walk away scot-free. Seeing how they continue to release new tracks and albums, it appears they aren't too concerned with the issue at hand. However, Cardi B recently canceled one of her concerts, and so far there isn't any word on if she will be performing the following shows. At the moment, the problem hasn't been announced, and why she refuses to perform is still uncertain. Maybe the stress from the law is getting to her, or perhaps there is another issue with Offset. What happens next? At the moment, both artists are currently still releasing tracks, with Cardi B releasing a new song titled Press and Offset's new album titled Culture arriving next year, it seems the rap couple have no plans of stopping anytime soon. Seeing how most rappers have gone the route of still producing music behind bars, it wouldn't be a surprise if we see the rap duo do the same. One of the most recent rappers who was posting music from prison was YNW Melly. The Florida-based rapper actually had his number one hit while incarcerated. As he served his sentence, he made the song Murder On My Mind that went on to hit number one on the top 100 Billboard charts. His success didn't end there, but unfortunately neither did his problems. Throughout a majority of his career, YNW Melly was in prison, which goes to show that if Cardi B and Offset really wanted to, they would be able to preserve their careers. However, that isn't the only issue if the two wind up incarcerated. With the birth of their daughter Culture, who is only one years old, the timing for the couple couldn't be worse. As Cardi is only looking at one year for aggravated assault, the chances of her reducing her sentence is more likely than Offset's. However, her recent run-ins with the authorities is not going to help her case. As for Offset, it seems the district attorney is looking to throw the book at him. With potentially 12 years on the line, it's going to take a lot for the Migos rapper to reduce his sentence down enough to not impact his career. Seeing how it's highly unlikely he'll be able to avoid serving time altogether, he will probably have to request for reduced time. Considering his reputation and net worth, he could possibly ask for two to five years. If all goes well, he could get out in a couple of years, a timeline that isn't too bad considering his career. With the other Migos members Quavo and Takeoff constantly releasing new songs, the group's name will remain in the headlines. There. Whatever the problem may be, you can be sure to hear about it here first at Lime Report. What did you think of the video? Do you think the couple will stay together? Let us know in the comment section below what you think. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword clout for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Be sure to hit that notification bell to be the first to view the future content we'll have in store for you. You're about to have a baby, right? Yeah. Great, so we uh, got your gift. Because that's what you do in show business. Exactly. Uh... I love my wife, so it's serious, not a game to me. So, it's like, we hit. Um. Or was it planned? I mean, it might have been planned. No, it wasn't planned. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't planned. I didn't do anything. Ooh, rap fan. Yes. I don't know if you're going to have a boy or girl, but the color is gender neutral. Move, the easier it will come out. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? And I. Yeah. Come out. Fam. Yeah. I always wanted to be an artist. I always wanted to be an artist. Um. I always wanted to be an artist. The vibe in the room. Yeah. Man, I got my two brothers right here. Mm. I mean, but I'm good. It ain't, it ain't like a bad thing. But it's, it's, it's new for life, so it's serious. It's not a game to me. So it's like we have schedules and we have shows. My family used to always tell me, like, oh, my God, you're so talented. You sing so beautifully. When I used to do... 
And I just felt like if I gave a break between time, I just can't get that break between time. Thank you.